Welcome back to the CVCC Library Tutorial, Suggested Library Databases for Argumentative Essays. This presentation demonstrates several library databases useful for researching current and controversial topics. In part one of our tutorial, we learned about Opposing Viewpoints, a very popular database with students that provides thousands of articles and related material on contemporary issues. We're now going to take a look at two additional databases, CQ Researcher and Issues and Controversies. To access these electronic databases, go to the CVCC homepage at this address. Click the Student Support link here. This takes you to the Student Support page. On the left-hand side, click the Library link. You are now at the library web page at this address. Let's take a look at the databases by subject page. Under the subject category, current events, pro and con topics, we find excellent sources of information on social and political issues. Let's click it now. We'll now look at these two databases. CQ Researcher, and Issues and Controversies. CQ Researcher provides reports on issues in the news. Each 12,000 word report offers in-depth, non-biased coverage of political and social issues. Here's the opening search screen for CQ Researcher. You can see recently published reports such as alt-right movement and immigrants and the economy. Let's research the topic of free tuition for college. College costs have skyrocketed over the past few years and now more leaders are proposing that students be able to attend college with no tuition costs. Let's research this topic. Enter free tuition in the quick search box and click the magnifying glass. Here are our search results. Several items look right on target. Let's look at this report, Student Debt. Here's the beginning of this extensive report on student debt. Note the various sections of the report, such as overview, background, current situation, Outlook, and so forth. Note also the view PDF, email, and print options. This feature, Cite Now, helps you with citing your source. Let's take a look. Here is a suggested citation in the APA or American Psychological Association format. Let's select another format the MLA style. And here is the suggested MLA style citation. Remember, you may use this as a suggested format, but always refer to your professor's instructions concerning citations. CQ Researcher reports often include useful charts and graphs, such as these, which show how college costs have doubled since the 1970s and how funding is down for higher education between 2001 and 2015. Reports also include a pro-con section where two experts from opposing points of view argue about an aspect of the topic. Let's see what it looks like. In this pro-con article, two experts debate if public college tuition should be free. Now let's look at one more database, Issues and Controversies. This is an online source of in-depth information on hotly debated issues of the day. Here is the opening search screen. Note some of the issues in the headlines, such as fake news. Let's do a search now on the topic Facebook. We've all heard of social sites on the internet, such as Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn 
along with dangers associated with these sites, such as internet predators and identity theft. From the search page, enter the term Facebook in the search box and click the magnifying glass. And here are search results for the topic Facebook. See articles such as social media. Does social media have a positive impact on the world? From August 2016. Here are various sections of the report. Here are links to background, chronology, by the numbers, and more. Let's look at this sidebar, chronology. And here we have chronology, or timeline, of key events related to the history of social media. In the late 1990s, social networking sites such as classmates.com, sixdegrees.com, and theglobe.com offer people a way to reconnect. In 2004, Facebook is founded by Mark Zuckerberg and classmates at Harvard. And in 2007, Twitter debuts. Here is another sidebar called By the Numbers. It shows statistical snapshots of key issues related to social media. For example, 70% of Americans owned a smartphone in 2015. There were 161 million active Facebook users in the United States by 2016. Let's return once more to the report on social media. Here is a nice feature of the Issues and Controversies database. A box that summarizes what supporters argue and what opponents argue. Then these links here on the left take you to more expanded arguments. Finally, under the Pages Tools tab, you'll find options for printing, saving, downloading, and generating a citation. When you begin your research on a controversial topic or current event, be sure to check out these three databases, Opposing Viewpoints, CQ Researcher, and Issues and Controversies. You can access the electronic databases from your home computer. Due to licensing restrictions, off-campus access is limited to persons associated with CVCC. Select the database you wish to search. Here is the login page you will see. Using databases off campus requires a username and password, the same as your CVCC Blackboard and email user ID and password. This concludes our presentation, Suggested Library Resources for Argumentative Essays. Remember, contact or visit the library whenever you need research assistance. And good luck with your research.